Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I was not planning on doing two vlogs this week, um, but here I am. So, it is two o'clock, and I'm gonna hop on my bike and finish up a few work things. This morning, I did go to the gym, um, but I didn't do as much cardio as I would have liked, so that's why I'm hopping on the bike. And then I went to get my nails done, because tonight I'm going to like a little Christmas party and I'm gonna have a like a girls night with um, my girlfriends which will be so fun but I need to get ready for that I need to do a cup she try on which I'll include in today's vlog and I need to get the kids make sure they're home fed jammies and everything before I leave because my younger brother's coming to watch them and to put them to bed God love him they are obsessed with him so it will be good, they're very excited. But yeah, I have to do all that and then make sure like their bags are packed and everything is set for the morning so that when I go out, I can actually relax. So I feel like the fact that I have three hours to do all of these things, I'm like. I did really quickly wanna give you guys an overview of how the living room came out if you watched my last vlog. I don't think I really shared like exactly how everything looked. Still obsessed with the Christmas tree that we bought at Target. I literally am obsessed with it, I think it is so beautiful and so real looking. And while we're over here, I'll share my bike. So most of you guys have probably heard um, all about my Flexi Spot bike, but I love this thing. It is like a holy grail in our household now. It obviously has a desk, which is the part that I like the most about it because I can sit here and work, edit, pay bills, whatever, and still get like a little workout in. You can adjust the tension, it does your time, calories, um, distance, all of that right on here. So you can really get um, a really good workout if you wanna crank up the resistance or you can kind of pedal along while you get some things done and just kind of, you know, get your steps in, get your, get your burn for the day. So I love this thing. It will absolutely be coming with us to our new house. Like I said, it's a holy grail so easy to maneuver but it's also very sturdy and heavy like when you sit on it it feels very very sturdy yet it's just like i said very easy to move and it's compact so if you live in a small apartment like we do it's not a problem but flexi spot is doing up to 50 percent off for black friday so from the 25th to the 28th it's up to 50 percent off and i think this bike is like 130 dollars off or something so such a great deal i will leave all of the information at the top of the um subscription box description box and um, if you guys are interested there'll be links in there as well and I want to thank Flexi Spot for sponsoring this portion of today's video I happily agree to all the sponsorships with them because I genuinely love and use my bike all the time there was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too sneaking looks up and down from across the room damn what a hell of a view I feel good you look great I like you I can't wait, our first time, our first day, you're so fine, I'm so late, you sip one. Alright, one thing done. I don't know how I kept the Sherpa on the whole time because I am hot. Alright guys, let's try a few things on. So everything is going to be from Cup She, starting with this bodysuit. So can I just say, this was a little hard to get my head into. If you're going to wear this, definitely put it on before hair and makeup. But it's super cute. It's going to be hard to see the ribbing, but it's got this really nice rib fabric. And it's stretchy. It's soft to the touch. And it's super comfortable on. It's very flattering. Um, I believe I got an extra small, but I'll leave all the sizes down below uh, right next to the link. I always put like the size that I'm trying on in the video. So I love that it's a long sleeve on one side and then completely sleeveless on the other. I think this is super cute. A good staple to have in your closet because it's like a basic bodysuit, but obviously not so basic which I love all right next up I have this super soft cozy sweater so this is actually pretty lightweight considering like how chunky and cozy it looks which I really really like because I feel like this would be good to layer up with underneath of a jacket or a vest or whatever but I love the color it's like a beautiful oatmeal kind of beige color super soft it's not itchy at all I have it front tucked so I'll untuck it for you guys in a second because it is quite oversized but not long enough for me for leggings um, and again I got this in in either small or extra small whichever they had but I really love this I think it's a great staple and it's super affordable like I can't even believe this is from cup she sometimes their stuff just catches me off guard and I'm like what the heck like I just thought they only carried bathing suits and what a pleasant surprise so this is what it looks like untucked and kind of like pulled all the way down this is what it looks like kind of untucked but folded under a little bit 
It's a good sweater, guys. It's a really good sweater. Next up, this is a really fun one. So it's like this distressed sweater. It has distressing on the sleeves, on the hem, at the bottom, a little bit throughout, and then it has this little cutout shoulder. I was lazy and didn't put my strapless bra on, so just ignore my strap. But I love this. I like that it's asymmetrical. I love the high neck. Um, I did not realize when I ordered it that it had like a multi-colored thread going through it. There's kind of like some pink and blue threads, but it's pretty subtle, honestly, and I feel like from afar you don't even notice it. So it's kind of cute. This reminds me a lot of the sweater that I got from Revolve that was a lot more expensive, but uh, this one was very, very affordable. So this one is not like a cozy, cuddly fabric. It's kind of like a dry knit. I always describe things that way, and I hope you guys know what I mean. But it's not like a, I don't know, it's, it's not itchy, but it's not like plush and soft. It's just kind of like a dry material. I love that hem at the bottom. I just think it's so cute. And this is what it looks like untucked. Super cute. I'm honestly not sure how I'm going to film getting ready because it's so dark out. You can't tell because I have my exposure turned way up, but it's going to be super dark in my room soon. I wonder if I can film in Ellie's room really quick. The bathroom lighting is terrible and not set up for filming. We have like the smallest vanity, but anyway, this is the next sweater that I wanted to share with you guys and it has a really, really deep, like, I shouldn't say deep, it's just like a wide V, so it keeps wanting to fall off of my shoulder. I definitely think you could size down in this one. Um, I love how it's like slouchy and falling down, but it literally feels like it might fall like right on down. So. I would say size down, but this is really, really cute. Just a good basic black sweater. It's v-neck in the front and in the back. It's soft, but you could always tuck it under your bra strap too, just to like at least hold it up on one side. I wouldn't mind it falling off one side, but I don't want it to like come down to my waist, you know? So this is kind of cute, guys. I definitely don't have anything like this in my closet. Half of it is like a velvety kind of material that's like ribbed. And it's in black and then the other side is a flannel I have just one side front tucked and I think this is really kind of cute and fun casual it's something you could definitely wear with leggings or with jeans you could also leave it open if you wanted to wear it with like leggings and knee-high boots and like a little cute like crop something underneath but yeah it's definitely long enough like I said to wear with leggings but comment down below do you guys like this or no I feel like it's gonna be an acquired taste this is super cute and like fall and I don't know, I just love this for the holidays. This is adorable. So it's a really thin um, like chiffon material. There's no lining or anything. It does not seem to be see-through at all, but it's just very, very lightweight. So I also feel like if this is just kind of like your color vibe, you could wear this year round, but it does definitely look more fall to me. I love this mock neck at the top in the print. The colors, so, so beautiful. It has an elastic waist here. I personally would probably put a belt on it just so it looked a little bit more finished because you can see like the scrunch right here. Um, but it's very subtle and with the print, you definitely don't like need a belt. And I have it paired with some knee-high boots, which I just thought was really, really cute. Super comfy and a good fall dress. This is kind of fun. I don't know. I feel like it's totally not fitting me correctly. Like it just feels too big. It's like big up here. It's big in through the bust and just everywhere but I really like the idea of the dress I love this slit in the side it's like fitted super cute you can see through it a little bit um, but I don't have nude underwear on I have like bright like whitish gray underwear so that's likely to show through but my bra isn't showing through at all and that is nude so I would just wear nude undergarments and size down because I think this would be a really great look the fabric is nice it's like a ribbed sweater material this would also be so cute with a baby bump so cute again a really nice dress for the holidays all right lastly I already have two of these tops I have it in white and then I have it in like a rust color and I wear them all the time year round I think they are a must-have I've worn mine to travel on a plane I've worn mine as a bathing suit cover-up with leggings boots and a leather jacket like I have literally worn mine to death I've also unbuttoned them and worn them as like little throwovers in the summer with jean shorts and a tank. So they're these cute little button downs and they have like a raw hem around the entire thing, like at the neckline, down at the bottom. It kind of comes up a little bit on the side. It's in this like soft muslin material, which makes it great again for year round because it's like comfortable 
and warm, but it's not hot because it's so breathable. I love that it has pockets and the buttons in the front, like I said, just make it so versatile because you can button it up and wear it as like a tunic like this with some knee high boots, you could throw some tights on and a jacket, you'd be good to go. Or you can wear it as a bathing suit cover up in the summer. So this, these are just a must have for me and I really cannot recommend them more. Okay, so I am still not used to how dark it gets out so early. It's literally hardly three o'clock and it's almost completely dark out. So I don't think it's the best option to film a get ready with me and like a holiday makeup look because I don't have proper lighting. Oh, I do have my ring light. I don't know. I just posted a poll on Instagram to see if you guys would rather see a holiday makeup look and I'm going to figure out lighting and how to film that or um, if I'll just film tomorrow and share my everyday makeup look. So I'm not sure what the rest of this video is going to look like. Either way, I'll show you the final look tonight. All right, guys, I'm about to throw on a jacket to cover up a little bit and go get the kids at school. But I just want to show you a quick outfit of the day because I don't know if I'm going to have time when I get back. Outfit of the day. What am I talking about? Outfit of the night. Um, this sweater is old from Forever 21. I'll try to link something similar for you guys. Same with these jeans. I think these are last season from Kohl's. They're so cute though. They have like an uneven like hem going on. And then some cute seams going down the back. Super comfy and kind of like a wide leg. And then I have my Walmart shoes that are out of stock as well. So that is the outfit of the night. Hopefully it is, uh, appropriate. All the girls I'm going with are wearing jeans. Haley's wearing like a dress and knee-high boots. So I feel like it's pretty casual, but whatever. This is what I came up with because I did not plan. And but I tried on a silky skirt and a sweater and it was not working. It was not working. So anyway, I'm going to go get the kids, get them dinner and get them settled with Dunkel is what they call my brother. And then we will head out. Hi guys. It's the next day. Um, I went to the, well, I got the kids ready for school this min this morning, <sighs> this morning took them to school, went to the gym, um, and then I just got back to the dishes and kind of cleaned up the house. I have to run over to the new house to meet with the guy who's putting in our security system. So I kind of have to get ready a little bit fast, but that's generally how I do my everyday makeup anyway. So I'm going to show you guys what I do with my makeup every day. Um, and we can just kind of chit chat along the way. I have not been in the mood for real clothes. Is anybody with me? Like I literally just want to be in a hoodie and leggings every single day. So that's where I'm at. Um, I feel like I should probably put my hair up. Also, I really need to do a hair tutorial on how I get these curls because I get asked questions all the time anytime I wear my hair curly like this. And there's definitely like a random technique that I use and just kind of like developed myself. But I didn't have time to do the Instagram reel that I wanted to yesterday showing how I did it. So I might try to do that later on today, but we will see. My anxiety is on screech because I did not sleep well last night and I had drinks and if I have drinks and I don't sleep well, if I don't get enough rest, I'm doomed. So I took my um, anxiety medication this morning and it like took the edge off, but when it's this bad, it's not like it's it's not gonna make it go away so anyway first thing that I always start off with is my glassy skin this is by touch and soul and this is it's actually called pretty filter glassy skin balm this is a holy grail for me I've repurchased this multiple times it literally like is what it sounds like it makes your skin look like glass and it's the best you don't need a whole lot but it is really cold here and my skin gets dry so I use a decent amount Oh, and it just feels so nice. It lays so nicely under makeup. It's like super duper hydrating, but it's not heavy. Like it still feels so lightweight, especially in the colder months. This is my go-to. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Tula Radiant Skin Brightening Serum Skin Tint. I've mentioned this before, but this is my favorite every day. Easy to throw on, it makes your skin look so nice. It evens out your skin tone. It's got actually like medium coverage for how lightweight it is um and it is buildable as well so i have shade 11 and 13 i think i'm just going to go in with mostly 11 a little dot of 13 because this one is darker so i don't really have much of my spray tan left here so i've applied this with a beauty blender and with a brush before and they both work as well just lately i like doing it with my fingers so just like warming it up and then i apply it just like 
a moisturizer. Might have gone in with a little too much of the 13. <laughs> like, can you guys see how much that evens out my skin tone and like just the nice fresh finish that it has? And then a new favorite of mine is the Kosas Concealer. So this I have heard people rave about. I've seen it on TikTok a million and one times and I finally fell into the trap and placed a huge order on their website. And when I first tried this, I was like, I don't get it. I cannot believe people are raving about this. Like, I just don't really understand the hype and then I'm like but I'm gonna use it because I bought it and now I'm obsessed with it like I don't know if it just takes some time of like getting used to it it's a great concealer like it's so natural looking it's buildable it's so creamy that's what I love about it like super hydrating and creamy so great for under the eyes I'm just using what am I using for a brush and it brush And like I do find a lot of the times when I use this concealer, I will go in um, with a little bit more like after the first layer and just layer up a little bit because it doesn't, I think that's what I didn't love about it at first is it doesn't have super crazy like high coverage, but for an everyday concealer that's buildable, I've like totally fallen in love with it. To warm up my face a little bit, I like to go in with the Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick. This is in the color Happy Soul and I just do... A little bit here, 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 here. Sometimes I do under the jawline, but because I'm wearing a cream hoodie, I feel like it's gonna, I'm just gonna skip that today. So I'm just gonna go in with this same brush. And I just like to kind of pat it because it is so blendable that if you just start like swiping it, it, I don't know, can kind of become everywhere. So I just like to like tap it and then give it little like swipes upwards almost. And it gives like the nicest bronze color, tone, warmth. Um, I definitely don't like contour or anything. It's really just to warm up my face. And then for another cream product, I go in with the Wander Beauty On The Glow Blush and Illuminator Duo. And this is in a Berry Whisper and Nude Glow. This is old. Um, I don't even know if it still comes in this packaging or not. Uh, they recently sent me a new one and it came in a new plastic packaging, which I don't mind. And it's also in a new color. So I don't know if that was just because it was sent in like a PR box or if like they have new packaging. But regardless, the product itself is amazing. The, my highlighter is completely gone, empty, gone. I cannot get anything else out of it because I loved it so much. Hopefully you guys will be able to see it, but the way that these lay on the skin is just like so beautiful. It doesn't move what's underneath. It's so skin-like and it leaves a really good color. Sometimes I find with like um, blushes that are like a cream blush, sometimes you put them on and it looks really pigmented and then it's like not. Like there's really not much color when you blend it out. So that is definitely not the case with these. And I just like to blend on the high point of like my cheek and then on my lid as well because I don't really do eyeshadow um, on a daily basis, but I do like to have a little bit of color up there. Isn't that so pretty? And then I've been going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. I have this in the color medium. Um, it's pretty light, I think. What is it? Medium... Yeah, medium. I think that's pretty light for medium. But uh, I like to just go in and apply a little bit of this. And again, I've applied this with a brush and a beauty blender, and it seems to work great either way. I also forgot that I've been liking a little bit of like foundation and powder around my lips so that when I go in with my um, lip liner, it stays a lot better. Since I ran out of that highlight, um, I have been using and loving this Beauty Pie Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. Um, Beauty Pie is like, I don't know, it's almost like a membership. Why do I have glitter all over my face? It's like really going to bother me.
Also, I really should have put my peach corrector under my eyes because they're so dark today. But anyway, I just like to do a dot of this. Literally, it's all you need. Like, that might be too much. This stuff is aggressive in the best way. It's so beautiful and, like, just gives the most beautiful, like, wet sheen look to your cheeks. actually a good amount oh so pretty the instant lift brow pencil that was really hard for me to say that was like the seventh attempt um attempt i just said attempt i just like to brush it up with a little spoolie and then take the pencil side and just kind of elongate this brow because my brows are uneven and then on this side i just kind of fill in the top a little bit And I take this little brow gel, which I got in a BoxyCharm. It's called Bow Down. It's just like a clear brow gel. And I swipe up, 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 and kind of like to the side. And then I take my e.l.f. pencil again, just to use the spoolie end of it. And I kind of brush everything up and then shape them up. What am I even saying? Oh. One other thing I do sometimes that I definitely don't need it today, um, I will go in with my Anika bronzer. I don't think that this is being sold anymore. Super annoying, but I really love the Physicians Formula Baked Butter Bronzers. What are they called? I'll link them down below, but that's what I would like repurchase if I didn't have this one. But I'm just going to go a little bit in the crease. That's like a lot. Oh, that's because I have, that's because I have makeup on this from last night. <laughs> Just gave myself a quick smoky eye here in my hoodie casual look. Rub most of that off. Okay, I'm just taking a powder. This is the Super Stay Better Skin uh, Powder Foundation and I'm just like rubbing that all over because that was like really aggressive for what I'm going for today and I just cleaned off that brush and now I'm just gonna kind of go in my crease with whatever's left on the brush mm, and then I think I just need mascara and lips so for mascara holy holy grail is my lash paradise and I like when it gets chunky this one's not chunky enough I have another one in here yeah, I like when you can like hardly open it. It's so gross. Um, and I just go right at the root and like wiggle upwards and I don't go all the way to the tip <laughs> until the end. And I find when it's chunky, look how, <laughs> when it's chunky, look how fast I got volume. Like I literally just went like this twice and it's just like the most insane amount of Volume, crazy town. So I just focus on the root and like the middle of the lash, the mid length, if that makes sense. And then I kind of swipe through the ends really lightly, but because it is so chunky, like I definitely don't want the ends to look chunky. I like the ends to look a little more wispy that and then just to kind of coat the tips of my lashes going in with my Merit Clean Lash this is like hands down one of my favorite mascaras I've ever ever used it's so good and natural and it's great to layer up with it's really great on its own too especially for like no makeup makeup looks it's just really light and natural and not clumpy whatsoever which is why I go in with it at the end because Kind of combs everything out, makes it look really nice. So, those are the lashes. And ow, I've been sitting on my foot, and that's so uncomfortable. Um, where's? Okay, so for lips, I have a few different combos, but I'm gonna share my like go-to everyday simple. If I'm wearing a hoodie, it works. Or if I'm dressed up a little bit more, it works. We're the heck and bob. Well, we're going to use the little one. I have a full-size lip liner, but I'm not sure where she's at. So, for my lips. 
four years I have used the MAC World Lip Liner. I literally have used this for so many years. Um, it's just my favorite. I love it for my skin tone. And then lately I have been using the Fenty Heat Gloss in the color Fussy. So lately I will outline with my MAC World, fill in with this, and it's a great combo. Let's do that. And lately to give more of like a pouty effect, um, I've only been outlining like the center like this. And then I'll take this just to fill in my corners a little bit. Fill it in. It looks really messy, but I swear it comes out. Alright, and that is my everyday makeup right now. Um, if I'm not wearing a gloss, a lot of times I just do the lip liner and I'll kind of like smudge it around my finger and leave them like matte. So if I'm not wearing a gloss, that's usually what's on my lips like 99% of the time. It's like a little close up on how everything looks. Just pretty natural. I'm gonna head over to the house. I'm gonna swap out my battery because my battery is blinking. And I'll bring you guys along because I think the sheetrock should be done. So it might be a good opportunity to show you guys what the house looks like right now. Right, I just got back from the house. Um, and I didn't pull my camera out because there were guys over there working and I just didn't want to be doing that. So um, <clears throat> if you guys don't follow me over on Instagram, I post updates over there and I just posted some new pictures. The sheetrock is not completely done, but it's getting there. It's such a process building a house. It's absolutely insane to me. Um, how much goes into building and you just don't know until you do it but um, it's looking really really good I'm so happy with everything and I just can't even believe that in a few months we're gonna be living there like I can't comprehend that but I'm gonna end the vlog here I'm actually gonna go edit this vlog have some lunch just kind of like relax I feel like my brain is just not in a solid place today I today's just gonna be a wash to me I feel like I'm not even hung over it's like I'm my lack of sleep is making me unwell and I really needed a nap like I almost instead of going to the gym this morning came back and just like crawled back in bed but I was like no you're gonna feel better if you go to the gym and I'm glad I did but I'm just feeling like I want to sit and edit and do something low key so that's what I'm gonna do thank you guys so much for watching I love you I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you in the next video bye guys